Hello and welcome to this lecture series on switch mode power converters. Today we will be looking at the technology which preceded them, the so-called linear regulators. So this circuit diagram here shows the basic topology of a linear regulator. So it consists of an AC input which is developed through this isolation transformer T1 followed by a rectifying stage comprising of diodes and this storage filter capacitor CF. Then we have this series pass element, the transistor Q1, which is operating in the active or the non-switching mode. So Q1 operating in the active region. And then this output voltage is passed through a feedback loop. So essentially by varying the resistance between VDC and V0, so V0 is the voltage here at the output and VDC is what is developed through the transformer and the rectifying stage. By varying the, its resistance between these two voltages, the transistor actually regulates the current flow and thereby keeps the output voltage constant. So let's see how, how the feedback loop works, the operating principle. Let me take a different color. So a part of the output voltage is sensed here and is given as the input to the error amplifier. So this voltage is that the input of the error amplifier is V0 times R2 over R1 plus R2. Since we have a divider here and we are sensing a part of this voltage, then the output of the error amplifier is this point here. Let me call that E. So this sensed voltage is compared with a reference signal V ref. So the output of the error amplifier is actually V ref minus the voltage that is sensed. So this is, let's say V. So we can write this as V reference minus V naught times R2 over R1 plus R2. So now imagine that due to a sudden load change or a demand load, V0, the output voltage goes up. As V0 goes up, it means that the output of the error amplifier goes down. This output then goes to the current amplifier. So the current amplifier reduces its output which is the input to the to the base of this transistor. So let's say if this is a bipolar junction transistor, then the current IB flowing into the base of Q1 is reduced because of a, reduc a reduction in the output of the error amplifier. When this base current is reduced, this means that the resistance of the series pass element between its collector and emitter terminal, so RCE, increases. When this resistance increases, the current flow I0 reduces. Since all of this output current I0 has to flow through this series element and since the resistance of that series element is increasing the current flow decreases which has a consequence that V0 which is nothing but I0 times R1 plus R2 V0 also decreases since I0 is decreasing. 
Now let's take the other way around. What happens when the uh, output voltage is decreasing due to a transient? So if the output voltage decreases due to a sudden load change, means that the output of the error amplifier increases because this is with a negative sign here. And when the error amplifier output increases, which means that more drive is given to this transistor, increasing the base current. And the base current in turn then reduces the collector emitter transistor, allowing for more current flow through the transistor. Now when the current flow increases, obviously the output voltage would increase. So here we see that this is a negative feedback loop, negative feedback, which is essentially regulating V0 to the changes in load conditions. So this is the operating principle of a linear regulator. So now let's look at some main advantages of this type of regulator. The first one being that there is no switching action here in the transistor. So in terms of electromagnetic interference or EMI, its performance is better than some of the switching mode topologies which we would look at. So this is a plus in terms of uh, potential EMI caused by this type of regulator. The second being the, uh, the power losses can be easily calculated here because the power loss is simply the difference in the voltage multiplied by the current flow. So the losses can be easily estimated, which is a bit of a challenge when we would look at some of the switch mode uh, converters. And one big disadvantage is the efficiency of these converters. So efficiency is quite poor. So in the next lecture, we would go into further detail about the uh, calculations for the efficiency and also depending on the voltage level, uh, how the efficiency changes for the linear regulators. We would look, that, uh, look into that as well. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.